Okay, so um, uh, hello everybody. My name is Gabriel Barat and I'm a PhD student at the University of Lisbon and I'm here presenting you the paper Improving Participation and Learning with Gamification. So uh, for the past 10, 15 years, uh, technology has been widely used uh, in education and learning you know, to improve content delivery. Uh, this allowed for new learning experiences to emerge such as distance education and blended learning. However, most of these approaches uh, focus on you know, facilitating access to, to, um, to learning content, but they don't actually take into account uh, student engagement. Um, education is also uh, being shaped by gamification, which everybody here knows what it is. It's uh, using uh, game design elements in non-game contexts as a means to, to encourage users to adopt specific behaviors, um, like working out, saving money, uh, being more productive, uh, learning something new, and so on. However, um, the benefits of applying gamification uh, to education are not uh, uh, very clear yet. So more systematic studies are required. Um, in a previous study, we actually um, gamified a college course named Multimedia Content Production. Um, we compared the data regarding the student's learning experience across two consecutive years, one non-gamified year and a gamified year. And uh, our data uh, suggests that students were more engaged with our gamified approach, even though we didn't actually see any significant um, difference over the, the students' grade. So uh, I'm presenting here a, a, a second study in which we deployed a second uh, uh, trial of our gamified course, which we fine-tuned fine based on the, on the feedback from students in the previous experiment. And um, we analyzed five years' worth of data being the first three non-gamified years and the last two, uh, our two gamified experiments. And with this study, we want to answer two, three research questions. Uh, does more complete data support our previous findings? Uh, how did the gamified experiment affect the grades? And uh, how was student engagement affected by the second gamified edition of the course? So the multimedia content production course is an annual semester long MSc course in information systems and computer engineering at Institut Superior Technique in Lisbon. And it follows a blended learning program where students attend uh, live theoretical lectures and lab challenges, and uh, sorry, and lab classes. But they also um, um, engage in discussion and uh, work on assignments on a Moodle virtual learning environment. And uh, here we teach them several different uh, multimedia concepts. Um, we gamified it in the first year to make it uh, more engaging and interesting uh, for students. And we had uh, um, a few game elements, for example, experience points and levels, leaderboards, uh, a uh, leaderboard challenges, badges, and achievements. Experience points were awarded to students when they completed course activity, like undertaking challenges, suggesting relevant reference materials, um, attending classes, and so on. And they serve the main purpose of transmitting instant feedback to students. And for every 900 experience points, they would increase in, in experience levels, which serve the main purpose of transmitting progress to students. Um, the main entry point to the gamified experience was the leaderboard. It was publicly available from the Moodle forums, and uh, it displayed students by row, uh, sorted by descending order of their amount of experience points. And when students clicked a particular row, um, the, the achievement history and all unlocked the badges for that students would be displayed. Um, achievements here were, uh, were um, behavior students had to complete in order to be awarded with experience points and badges, and they served the main purpose of um, providing students with several goals for them to pursue so that they would feel more autonomous on and on control on this um, gamified experience. We also had challenges. Challenges were creative tasks. This is actually an example of uh, what the student did. Were creative tasks and uh, they were time limited and they could be in there. Uh, we had uh, theoretical challenges and lab challenges according to the type of lecture in which they were issued. And the um, challenges served uh, to um, structure course activity into meaningful endeavors so that students uh, uh, would have you know, more meaningful goals to, to pursue. In the second year, we improved uh, our uh, gamified course, mostly based on student feedback, and we tried to, uh, to adjust you know, the, the, the gaming experience a little bit. So our course has regular quizzes. We took 10% of the quizzes and added it to the achievements grade so that the game component would be more well rewarded. We created four theoretical challenges and two lab challenges, and we tried to even out challenge distribution over time. Um, over the, the semester because this was uh, actually a problem in our previous experiment. So in this uh, study, we collected data from five years 
um, uh, which includes uh, attendance to lectures, the number of downloads of lecture slides, uh, the number of posts on Moodle, uh, uh, their grades, and um, for the, the gamified years only, we collected qualitative feedback via satisfaction questionnaire by the end of the, the semester. In our previous experiment, we observed that uh, students um, attended more lectures in our gamified uh, approach, and they also downloaded more lecture slides, and they, and they were much more participa participative and proactive on online forums, but we didn't actually observe any effect wh uh, whatsoever uh, over students' grades. So in this new experiment, we wanted to fi find out if with more uh, data our findings still hold, if we can observe any effect at all over the students' grades, and uh, we wanted to see how, how was the, um, the students' engagement affected by you know, the modifications we made in our um, second uh, gamified experience. So let's take a look uh, to the results. As for the lecture attendance, we actually saw a few statistical significant differences, a significant improvement between the first non-gamified year and the first gamified year, and then a decrease between gamified years which is uh, not very consistent and uh, contradicts our previous finding that our approach actually has a positive effect over lecture attendance. As for uh, uh, the number of downloads of, of, of slides by lecture normalized to the number of students, we had um, statistical significant improvements between every non-gamified year and every gamified year with these improvements ranging uh, between 80% and 248, which is on pair with our previous findings that with our approach the number of uh, downloads uh, would uh, improve. As for the number of posts made by students on the forums, we saw uh, significant improvements uh, between every non-gamified year and every gamified year, with these ranging from 290 to 938%. And by breaking these values down into first posts and reply po posts, um, they presented a similar um, distribution, uh, which um, is on pair with our previous finding that with our approach, students will be more participative and more proactive on online uh, forums. We also observed a significant improvement of 66% between our, um, our gamified years, which suggests that in our uh, second year, students might have been more engaged to, uh, to actually participate. As for the number of posts made on challenges, we saw a significant increase of around 133% in the number of posts made by, uh, by, by on challenges, and students also posted more per challenge, um, uh, more than uh, 56%. So, the grades. Okay, so we had a few statistical significant differences. However, they were not very clear. So, we still don't have uh, any statistical evidence that our approach can indeed impact um, uh, uh, the students' uh, grades. However, we did observe in our second gamified year um, the highest, uh, you know, mean grade uh, ever recorded. And by looking to, to, um, to the grade distribution, even though it wasn't that great in the first gamified year because we had a few problems, in the second year we were able to lift grades a little bit and we also we actually observed the, the highest minimum grade ever and we had the most students achieving the top grade, uh, which were 11.5% uh, um, of all students, you know, achieving the, the top grade. Um, for the satisfaction questionnaire uh, that we issued by the end of the, the gamified semesters, students were overall quite satisfied with um, the, um, the gamified experience applied to the MCP course. They, were, um, they considered that the course was more motivating and interesting than other regular courses. Uh, they considered that the course required way more work than other courses, uh, but that it was not more difficult. And while in the first year they didn't consider that uh, with this course was easier or harder to learn from, in the second year they considered that it was easier to learn from our course. They considered that our course, uh, the study had the same quality than, uh, than the other courses, but that it was more continuous. And as for game feeling, they mildly felt they were playing a game, which suggests that the game illusion can uh, have still a lot of room for, imp for improvement. And that was why we made the, the work I presented yesterday in another session. Um, and um, when asked if they would like to see the, uh, the game component of the, of the uh, more well rewarded, in the first year they weren't quite sure, but in the second year they said, hell yes, we want this to be more well rewarded, even though it was already, you know, it had already more 10% on the top of it. So the more you give, the more they want. Um, uh, when asked if they did non-mandatory tasks more for the game or for the great sake, 
in the first year they actually said that they did it more for the game's sake and uh, in the second year they said it, it was more for the grade. And they said that you know achievements that, uh, that uh, required extra work like undertaking challenges for example uh, that it actually contributed to their learning and in both years they would like to see this kind of uh, gamified experience applied to other courses. So we can now discuss and answer to our research questions. Uh, does our new data support our previous findings? Well, not exactly for lecture attendance. Our data actually contradicts our previous findings that our approach would benefit lecture attendance. So it's a, li a little bit non-conclusive. Uh, but our new data supports our previous findings that with our gamified approach, uh, students would download more uh, le lecture slides and uh, they would be more participative and proactive um, on online forums. Uh, also, um, uh, student feedback was also consistent over the years and uh, it was very positive. So how did the gamified experience affect the grades? Well, we lack the statistical evidence that we actually had, you know, that our approach has an impact over the grades. However, our data suggests that maybe uh, that we could, you know, lift the grades a little bit and we, um, decrease the grade disparity between students, which might be particularly useful for those students performing poorly but this still uh, requires you know, uh, more research because yeah, we don't have actually statistical evidence of this. Um, how was engagement affected by our second gamified version of the course? Well, the answer to our first question uh, uh, actually suggests that you know, our gamified approach were indeed uh, more in engaging than, than our non-gamified counterparts. However, um, uh, the, the second experiment brought us new data which shows that students posted 66% uh, more in the second gamified uh, uh, course, in the version of the course uh, when compared to the first, and that 73% of these were related to challenges, which suggests that challenges were major engagers here and they might have uh, 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 motivated students to participate more in the course. One can say, okay, students posted more because they had more challenges to attend to, which is quite true. Uh, however, it's important to, to notice that uh, students also posted 56% more per challenge and that challenges were were worse less than 5%, so it was not only for the grade two. To conclude, um, I've presented you a long-term study in which uh, we gamified the college course in multimedia content production. Uh, we analyzed the data regarding uh, five years and um, our results suggest that uh, with our gamified approach, students downloaded more lecture slides and they were more participative and proactive on online forums, which is on pair with uh, the findings of our previous experiment. And this is in part, you know, um, corroborated by, um, by student feedback in both years with them considering the course to be more motivating and interesting than other courses, regular courses, and with them considering achievements to contribute to their uh, uh, um, uh, learning, to their learning. For future work, we would like to further study the impact over, st over the, the students' learning outcomes because this was a little bit fuzzy. We would like to perform a more controlled experiment because we have several uncontrolled variables it's, they are really hard to, to control in, in this uh, kind of setup because it uh, actually changes the evaluation criteria. And uh, we would like to perform a formal engagement evaluation because we have only used um, informal uh, measures uh, which uh, limit the, the kind of conclusions that we can take from this experiment. So this is all. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, please see my desk.